In a dramatic turnaround, a special eyewitness Halen poll tonight has revealed the Labour Party is back in the lead after lagging behind the National Party for months. Amongst those stating a party choice, National polls 44% support. Labour's back on top with a huge jump to 52% support. The new Labour Party's ebbed away to 3% and all other parties poll just 1%. The poll also showed strong support for the new Prime Minister, Geoffrey Palmer, with 71% approving caucus's decision. The election of Geoffrey Palmer as the new Prime Minister, with Helen Clark as his deputy, is seen as a vote for security and continuity. A safe bet. Former Finance Minister Roger Douglas didn't stand for Prime Minister, but made an unsuccessful bid for the deputy's position. Government MPs gathered at Parliament today to take just over half an hour to elect their new leaders. After two ballots, Geoffrey Palmer beat fellow Christchurch MP Mike Moore for the Prime Minister's job. The deputy's job went to Helen Clark after a two-way tussle with Roger Douglas. Like his predecessor, Mr Palmer sets great store by the recent budget. He says he has the same social goals, but a different style. Helen Clark's election is seen as a victory for the women of the party and a possible vote catcher. She's the first woman to reach such high office. Today's two losers, Roger Douglas and Mike Moore, say they're right behind the new leaders. The Labour Party President, Ruth Dyson, has also endorsed Caucus's choice. Once the decision has been made, I uh, pledge my uh, support and uh, loyalty to both uh, Geoffrey Palmer and Helen Clark, and I'll certainly be doing what I can to assist them uh, as a member of Cabinet. The decision of Caucus uh, is theirs. They've got a new leader, a new deputy, and obviously I support that. I'm, I'm a Labour person. Well, the, the party has absolute confidence in the new leadership of Geoffrey Palmer and Helen Clark. Uh, we're delighted with their appointments and support them absolutely. A sightseeing flight in Mount Aspiring National Park ended in tragedy today with the death of all ten people on board. Britain Norman Islanders similar to this fly frequently over the Southern Alps, but this morning's flight from the Laggett Airfield near Wanaka to Milford Sound crashed 15 kilometres from Mount Aspiring at an altitude of 1,500 metres. The scene has been checked for survivors. Aircraft are being kept out of the crash area because it's feared they could trigger avalanches and make crash investigations more difficult. On board the Britain Norman Islander were five Canadians, three people from the United States and one from Asia, possibly Taiwan. Police have gone into the area tonight, ready to begin recovering bodies tomorrow. Telephone links were disrupted tonight after a sharp earthquake rocked the central part of the country about 8 o'clock. The quake measured between 5.5 and 6 on the Richter scale. The effects were felt as far afield as New Plymouth and Canterbury, but so far there are no reports of any damage. And the Commonwealth Games may be saved from an African boycott. The World Invitation Rugby Tour looks like collapsing after several Welsh, English and Australian players have decided not to go. That's it from Newsbreak tonight. Now with the Māori News Summary, here's Erina.